Hi everyone, this is Dave. I'm going to uh, quickly show you how to work with the poster template that the College of Nursing uses. And, um, you know, uh, going to have you by next week put in the information that you have into this poster. So we'd like to begin with the end in mind. And this is um, a picture of a uh, poster of one of my doctoral students. He just completed his project last week. He successfully defended and uh, he's actually going to be presenting this at a nursing research conference uh, on Saturday. So I'm going to be, that's why I'm going up to Minneapolis uh, to see him do that presentation. So um, this is a, a really complete uh, picture of the project that he did. Um, and uh, I want to just assure you that yours, you know, he, he went through the whole process. You just have started your literature search and it won't look quite like this. Let me show you one that looks a little bit closer to the one that you're using. Now, this is a little bit older template. I'm going to have you use the newer one. Uh, but this is an example uh, from the um, uh, uh, 4780 class that uh, the nursing students take. And so uh, this is kind of where we're headed. And now I've created a template for you uh, to be able to use in uh, creating your poster. So we're going to kind of look in the ballpark uh, for uh, these kinds of things. Um, first of all, though, I do want to remind you that you have uh, several of this uh, the slides that are available to you. Uh, which you've already created. So uh, this this um, picture here should look familiar. Um, and you've got at least four of the slides. So let's uh, see what we can do in terms of uh, pulling that information over into uh, your poster template. So this is the template, again, that I'll have you use. And uh, it's really pretty easy. You, uh, again, this is like at around 30%. Look what happens when I bump this up to a hundred percent. So that's, that's what it, that's what it looks like. And you can, um, go back and forth amongst the different sections, but it's really, uh, that, and it will print, um, a, a very large poster. So it's going to be in reality, the size of this is three feet by four feet. So you're working with a pretty large canvas here. So in order to work with it a little bit easier, more easily, I've got it back down to 30%. Now I have a pretty large screen. You may need to do work on it section by section. And uh, again, pretty easy to move around. So let's, let me pull this back down. Uh, you can type in, you can see that you've got, uh, you know, text boxes here. You can type in uh, whatever the name, whatever the name is of your project and you should have received some you have received feedback on uh, the titles you can also click in here and type in the group names um, Stephen whatever okay and then you know just type your names across the top there okay so here are the major categories that uh, should be addressed in the poster so the introduction and background uh, what I did a little bit earlier was that I just uh, typed in or I actually I copied and pasted from the other from this um, area from this slide into this area. And uh, what I'd like for you to do, though, is um, with posters, uh, the strategy is you want to have less text, a little more visual interest. So I uh, want you to go through and just shorten this up a little bit. Um, and I'm just doing this at random. Uh, and, you know, you'd have to, you know, you're going to have to think about it a little bit more. But what are the key points from uh, this step zero problem inquiry that has already been developed for you? Um, and then put in uh, the PICO question. Now notice what's happening. I've got all this stuff in here. And, um, you know, it's kind of pushing this Pico question down a little bit. Uh, but you can uh, play with that. Um, you know, insert your Pico question. And you're going to want this to be in the same format as um, the stuff above it. Okay. 
Okay, so I think you get the general idea. Now, uh, if it gets pushed down into this table, uh, and you'll want to insert your synthesis table, uh, you just kind of have to play with it a little bit and maybe move this table around. You may want to move the table over to the middle uh, so you can have more room here. Um, there's a variety of options that, that are open to you. It's part of the artistry of uh, poster making. So uh, again, this is just a sample for you and you can um, decide how you're going to um, create that for yourselves. Uh, the search strategy here, um, you'll want to get rid of my instructions to you. So we'll get rid of that and uh, type in down here um, uh, the uh, search strategies that that you use and see again I'm using the format painter just to make sure we're in the right same uh, format as uh, what's over here so all you have to do is click in here and then that should be okay let me type let me do this a little different way I'll type in some stuff um, I'll go over here to the format that I like see the format painter there and there we go and do a do a point you know bullet points so um again that's i think pretty easy to do uh again it's just like doing powerpoint slides so you've done those before uh and then uh some key points from the literature review and this really is a um a narrative summary of what you found over here you know what uh, outcomes you want to, uh, you know, that you're working on. I know with the diabetes group, there was, uh, uh, weight, uh, uh, weight, uh, whether or not uh, people gained or lost weight. Um, trying to remember it. Motivation was another one. So whatever is relevant for your project, you can put, uh, in a bullet point form, uh, under the literature review, the key findings. And then your implementation recommendations. What does the evidence say is most effective? Is it uh, education? Is it, um, you know, modules of some sort? Whatever uh, you you found uh, in terms of interventions. And then how are you going to measure it? Um, uh, let's say um, there's a test that you want to provide to um, to people to, to gain their understanding of diabetes prevention. You know, I, I can't remember uh, from my group, you know, the things that they uh, recommended or the metrics, how they would measure it. Uh, but um, you can you can post those in there. And uh, Dr. Maya and I will help you with that next uh, next week for next week. I'd also like for you to um, find uh, some pictures that are represent the um, um concept that you're working with and there's an important aspect of that i want you to pay attention to i've got some pictures of autonomous cars in here uh but uh you know of course it's, it needs to be representative representative of your topic for group one it's diabetes for group two it's uh, wearables so finding some pictures uh and pictures that are not copyrighted uh will be important for this so let me show you in um chrome uh, what that can look like. So I'm going to go up here. Let me, I already did a search for my autonomous cars, which I'm obsessed with. Uh, so if you go here, there's a menu, menu options. Um, let me just back up a little bit and show you the whole process. So I'm doing a search for images. And, um, what I wanted to do was find the, um, usage, um, uh, that says either labeled for reuse with modification, like labeled for reuse, any of these options down here, you change that um, to, um, let me just show, oh, uh, another important thing uh, in terms of trying to find that, what we want to do is um, go under advanced search and go down here and uh, 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 usage rights, it's under usage rights and uh, free to use or share um, I'll click on that advanced search and so then we we have a good set of pictures here so it's it's just a lot um, safer way to um, to do that then how do you get these pictures from here to over to the PowerPoint uh, I suspect a lot of you know how to do this already but a lot of times uh, you can just you can just pull it over 
points. Okay, so for whatever reason it's not letting me do that, uh, you can um, copy the image. That's the other way to do it. And paste it. Okay, so now one thing I want you to notice about this, and you want to check on this. Once you get your images and test them out, remember how you're viewing it now is at 30%. Let's bump this up to 100% and see if that picture is going to be good enough quality. It's a little pixelated in my view. I don't know if I would want this. Look at the difference between this and this one. These are really nice clear pictures because remember these are going to be, you know, not just a few inches. They're going to be maybe like a foot, a foot wide. So uh, you'll want to be sure to get a good quality picture in there and you can kind of experiment with that. So that was the other thing I wanted to show you. Then let's finish out the uh, poster. Uh, got, I think I got several copies in here. Let me just get rid of this. So get two, three, four pictures that we can play with next week for, for our time together. I'm just about out of time. Uh, the uh, other thing I want you to do is think about your insights. So what are some ahas that you have experienced during this time and that will be from across the group so come up with four or five points uh that we can type that i can in fact if you want to you can type them in uh now uh for in preparation for next week again you can move these pictures to wherever you have white space um and then the reference slide so your reference slide from that you've already submitted just put those those uh slides uh, at the bottom and it's going to be smaller. Let me sh just remind you what that looks like. So see how this group did that. So they just posted them in here and, um, you know, it's no big whoop to do that. All right. I think we're at the end. Um, so again, this is uh, what you'll be doing for next week. Come to class with your introduction background, your PICO question, your evaluation table in here, your search strategy, the literature review. And uh, if you have some ideas about implementation recommendations, you can have that ready. Uh, metrics, we'll probably need to talk a little bit more about. Uh, insights, um, have some ideas that you can put in here. Go ahead and type that in. And your references, and we'll just have just a little bit to wrap up next week. Uh, and then also have your pictures, uh, picture ideas. Uh, and again, we'll just have to play with it. So uh, that's your assignment uh, for this week. And uh, enjoy. I think it's going to be kind of fun for you. Uh, and we'll talk to you next week.